Well, good morning. Welcome back. This morning we are uh, out in western Indiana at the State Sanatorium Cover Bridge. We were here a little over a year ago. I think it was uh, like early May uh, in 2021. We were here uh, taking uh, pictures at sunrise. You know, beautiful uh, color in the sky that morning. Uh, today, uh, we're basically, this is the beginning of September 2022. And we're here again uh, just before sunrise. Uh, sun's coming up. It's about 10 minutes away before sunrise uh, will take place. Uh, we're here. We're going to try to take a couple more images, uh, see if we get anything different. There's not a lot of color in the sky, so there won't be any of that. You know, but there's a little bit of atmosphere hanging around. You know, so we'll see what we can we can get, if anything. You know, we'll get out, take a few pictures, and then I'll get back to you. And what we're here going to talk about today is my opinion on my Benro travel tripod, all right, which is a Benro tortoise, and I forget the exact product number, but, you know, we'll get into it here in a few minutes, so stay tuned. So I've been taking pictures for a while, you know, got hopefully a few good images. Yeah, so I thought I'd take a couple minutes here to talk about my Benro tortoise tripod. And as you can tell from this, it is very compact. Not quite as compact as the Peak Design travel tripod, but pretty close. I didn't measure the difference, but this is probably two, two and a half inches taller. But weight wise, it's lighter. It's actually lighter. Not by much, but it's a little bit lighter. And, and if you remember, I early on in my YouTube career, I did a, a video where I reviewed my aluminum Peak Design travel tripod. And I'll put a link to that in the description. But, you know, what I talked about there was, is that, you know, it was, it was a lot heavier than it was supposed to be, felt a lot heavier in his hand. His size was great, but, you know, it just felt flimsy. So when I went looking for something different, what I wanted was something with a great ball head, which this has, all right? The ball head on here is spectacular. I mean, it gives you the ability, all right, to do panos, all right, because it has this latch here, all right? And it's incredibly strong, you know, it's easy to make adjustments with it. I mean, it's a good, it, it's a good ball head. The other thing I wanted was I wanted something carbon fiber. All right, and this is carbon fiber. And on top of that, I wanted it to be light. And I wanted it to be less than three pounds, which this is. All right, so I wanted to extend easy. And as you can see, it does. All right, but when you put all that together, you know, everything, you know, you, there's trade-offs in everything. All right, so what don't you get in this? With, you know, basically it's under three pounds, got a great ball head, it's carbon fiber, and it packs away real easy. So, now, what's the drawback? It's short. I didn't want a center column if I could avoid it, so this is short, all right? It's only, I don't know, 50 inches maybe total. I mean, next to it, I look like a giant. I'm not even six feet tall, so it gives you, you know, I'm five foot 11. All right, so it gives you a little bit of perspective. It's just not very tall so I have to bend over quite a bit to take images and you know I you know I did a couple of, of um, b-roll scenes there where I was using a tripod which I, I put them in here and, you know and, and so you can see how I had to bend over to be able to see through it now why is that you know me I, I'm a little bit older my eyes aren't very good so looking at the back of the screen everything looks blurry unless I put my reading glasses on which I really prefer not to so I have to look through the viewfinder looking through the viewfinder I don't have any issues whatsoever but I have to bend over a lot when I use this. Now, when I'm using, you know, my Winston tripod, it's tall enough where I don't have to bend over really much, and it's not really a big issue. You know, this one, if there's any one drawback, that's it. I mean, it's sturdy. You know, everything is great. Packs away easy. You know, it's easy to adjust. All right? I mean, it, it, it's, there's nothing 
you know, really terrible about it other than it's just not very tall. So if you're looking for a tall tripod, you know, with no center column, you know, and it's light, this is not going to be your choice. If you're just looking for something that's easy to pack away, works pretty well, you can take it with you, but it has that, you know, it's a little bit short, this will work well. Now there's one that's a little bit taller, and I looked at it and I thought about going with it. Reason why I chose not to was it was over three pounds. And I just, I really wanted to stay below three. So that was really my choice. I think this is somewhere around the, the, the same weight as the Peak Design Travel Tripod that's uh, carbon fiber. I think it's right around that 2.8 range, 2.6, 2.8. It is, it's light, it packs away nice, it's easy to carry. No arguments there. The only negative is I got to bend over, you know, pretty pretty severely to be able to, to get an image. Beyond that, I'm pretty darn happy with it. Again, it's pretty darn sturdy in all you know, situation. So do I recommend it? Yes, with one caveat. You know, if your back's bothering you, <laughs> you have back issues, this may not be the, the tripod for you, you know, you might want to look at something else. But it certainly is pretty good. Now, cost-wise, if I remember correctly, it's about $350. And if you compare that to the Peak Design, you know, the Peak Design uh, carbon fiber is over six. So it's, you know, half the price, roughly the same weight, maybe a little bit lighter feels as sturdy or sturdier, all right, with a better ball head, to be perfectly honest. It's a much better ball head. All right, so I'm going to end the video here. All right, appreciate everybody's uh, coming along and uh, taking the time to, to watch this morning. You know, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. You know, get out there and enjoy life. You know, and most importantly, till we see you again, stay safe.